So Renee thinks that, you know, yeah, I'm invading his turf. And he thinks that Tori is his woman. Dude, she deserves better. A lot better. Although it's going to be rather interesting the way that I'm going to do the rest of it. Hopefully, I can actually pass the third uh, the third challenge in this storyline. Good God. Now, this will probably use some normal stuff as well. Uh, some normal storylines as well. Because they're not immediately one after the other. Good luck in your match tonight. I know I'll be impressed by your performance. <laughs> and I think you'll be impressed with mine, too. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, I've been thinking. Maybe I could escort you down to the ring tonight. And later, if you want, we could team up again. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. With you at ringside, I can't lose. And later tonight, we'll both be winners. I guess we should get changed for the match then. You want to help me out? Oh, look at that dumbass grin. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, fan service time. Really? She was barely wearing anything to begin with. Hey, remember this from uh, the opening? Yeah, except it was John Cena. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice, nice. I'd go get that clip that, uh, that I've been thinking about using and put it in here. But, you know, well, it's all good. I better hope nobody else is in here. This should be a private locker room. It all looks the same, really. Whoa. Uh-oh. I'm erect. Why are you erect? <laughs> you think that um, I probably shouldn't expend my energy. I was about to say, he's going to be in action next. But, hey, Cole, kind of looks like this guy's in action right now. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed that if you're uh, in that kind of thing. Yeah, this is going to be a sexy path, if you will. So, yeah, look at what happened, dumbass. You mistreat your girl and she runs off with somebody else. Yep. Oh, this is going to be freaking fun. Yeah, the only time Paul Heyman shows up is as a manager. That's about it. Now, um, you know, it's pretty much going to be my same entrance. It's just she's going to have her own little animation. But I'm not going to show that. I mean, because I don't really feel like showing it. Fans are on their feet for some WWE action. You can hear the roar yeah. of this capacity. Yes, I wanted to run into him. What? I can't hardly hear nothing. Cole, this crowd is fired up. Let's get him hit this suplex. So, yeah, this is pretty much how it's going to be. You know, I mean, like, this is how it starts. With, you know, this one dude who's a total chump with this smoking hot babe who he completely underutilizes and mistreats. And then, you know, you come in, like, kind of like a knight in shining armor or whatever, you know. And uh, you help her out. And, well, in return, you know, she helps you. So, with, like, damn it, Renee, stop. Now, I know exactly how I'm going to beat the hell out of him this week. Mm. Wipe my boot off on your face. Work over them legs right quick. Why? Because Eddie's other finisher is a submission hold. The lasso from El Paso. Yeah, so we'll just go into this. Nice. Yeah, so um, how many managers do you actually vie for? One, two, three, four. So, yeah. I'm not going to say who because, well, I want it to be a surprise. But, you know, it's kind of obvious that Tori is the first one. Alright, Flapjack. Let's 
Damn it. Oh, Damn now it. would you look at that? What an underhanded move. Oh, work on his legs again. I want to mess him up and get the knowledge going. Wait. Now I'm going to make all of those ropes deal with it. Uh, see, uh, oh, something else. Yeah, people were talking about, um, you know, Road to WrestleMania is pretty dull and pretty dumb. Yeah, and they should just bring somebody else on, uh, on the GameSpot comments said that they ought to bring back a uh, career mode from the other, uh, you know, uh, from the other games, you know, and just work with that. Yeah, you know, um, or of course they could just expand universe mode. Really I don't time. know, but in all honesty, I I pretty much signed off with them after like 2008, mainly because well, 2008 was not very good. Damn, I was thinking that the bar was gonna get smaller. Kick it. Mm. Watching these guys reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Interesting how it also works as midsection too. Dang, guy, I'm ready. I wonder. I, yeah, I could do his finishing move too. Yeah. Get off me. Dang, I was thinking about my finisher. I've got like um, several variations of finishing moves that uh, that I tend to give my creative wrestler. Rope break. Ugh. Ow. Dude, you suck. Yeah, I saw like a lot of damn negative comments uh, on it. Uh, on that review, obviously, um, you know, well, you know, mainly more at the expense of people who are fans of the franchise. They were mainly, you know, most of the people were talking about, well, you, um, you know, I think you're being too harsh. You know, a six, nah, this game is, this game is like a, a seven or, you know, some other book. Damn it, I fucked up on it. I pressed the wrong button like an eight. Crowd. Can't the, get enough of these guys. If anything, that's a rope break. I could have swore his leg was on the, his foot was tucked in the rope. But um, why am I doing that one again? Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's do it again. I want to make him tap out. Um, oh, man, they were saying, uh, you know, oh, come on, this game is an eight. Yeah, you know, this game was an eight point five. This game was a nine. You know, that's being too damn generous too. If anything, the game is actually it, the WWE 12 is probably a seven. At best, there were a few people that said six was uh, was actually appropriate, you know. But they were mainly hating on, you know. Well, they were mainly, you know, dogging out the the other people, you know, talking about, oh, great, here we go, you know, the the fanboys, this, that, and the other, you know. And there you go, the PDA. Yep. Just in case you were wondering, Renee. Yep, she's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! I was about to say something. Why are you hitting me like that? You want Tori so badly, huh? This Sunday at Judgment Day, why don't you fight me for her contract in a last man standing match? Motherfucker, you got beat nine times in a row. A last man standing match at Judgment Day for Tori Wilson's contract. I think we just saw a preview of that match, Cole. There's only one guy standing in the ring right now. Oh, ha, 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 Taz. They get your ass in the ring and face me. Huh. I don't know. See, Road to WrestleMania seemed to be okay with like a few. I don't know if these were mandatory uh, with 2009. Uh, or just optional, but they're like little, um, 
additional requirements, little challenges that you could actually set up for. Yeah, you know, and then you can pretty much go with those. Yeah, with um with later games apparently these became like uh definite requirements and they were kinda of like thinly veiled as to how you're supposed to go about it. I'm like, okay, and that's supposed to be what? I I don't know and I don't care, to be honest. But it is interesting how instead of it just being one at a time eventually once you beat one road to wrestlemania path then it'll pretty much transition straight into the next person's path so that was good i mean it's a good idea but in all honesty it feels like you are kind of squashing this a bit